Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I come in today so that I can show you how to make this rose. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because I don't want this to be so long. So right here is I took my roses. Let me keep it in frame. Let me get you right over here. I took my roses and what I do is I take them apart. Now I've already uh, sprayed them with alcohol and let them dry. And I want my rose to be big. So I'm, I took it apart and what I did is just took this part off right here. And I took it apart like this. And I'm going to leave this center piece. And I'm going to put the different colors on of the rose. Because I want my rose to be bigger and I want it to be different colors. So I'm just adding this, these different colors and on just like this. Just like this. And this is the glass jar that I'm going to be using to do my rose with. Just like this. Just like this. And my rose will go down in here like this. Now this is a little big, but I didn't want to buy... Go run out and buy anything bigger. So you just want something that will close your rose. And um, anyway, then you have your rose like this. And I could use tear this apart and make it bigger. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it small. Then you put this on the end. Now, I've already sanitized this with my alcohol. I've already sanitized the inside of my container. Okay, I hope y'all can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to spray my rose with e.l.f. Um, setting spray. It's makeup setting spray. And I'm going to sp spray my rose with that. And just set it aside after I sprayed it. Okay, then I'm taking a little bowl, and I've got a blush and a bronzer. Well, it says blush and bronzer, but this, to me, this looks like a highlighter, and probably to you, too. See how it looks on the skin? Looks more like a highlighter to me. So, yeah, make a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. What y'all think? Okay, and I have this tool that has, I ordered these off of the wish list. Let me show you how it looks. It has a little crook on here. And I ordered these off of the wish list. Wish list. Wish site just for this purpose. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to just take all of this and scratch it out of here. Just like that. I got this from one of my Ipsy bags. So and and I don't use it, so I'm going to I'm going to make this up and I'm going to let my daughter have it. Actually, this glass belongs to my daughter. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking and just mashing all that up. Just mash it up as best you can. Make it into a powder. Just keep mashing and mashing and mashing. Okay, and I broke this. It's the Urban Decay um, Urban Decay uh, and it is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in Sin. And I'm going to add a little bit of this to that. I'm just going to have to scrape a little bit on the top you can mix different kinds if you want, different colors. And that's what I'm going to do here. I still use this, but I thought, you know, for the sake of this video, I can give up a little bit of my glow. Just, um, just like that. Just 
just keep um, as much as you think it's going to take and it's not going to take that much so okay and I've got a stick here let's get everything out of the way I've got this tongue depressor never been used and what I'm going to do is just take and make sure that I have this just powdered up and mixed up real really 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 good okay now I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to use a little bit of the setting spray and then I want a little bit of of uh, fragrance to my rose so I'm going to use this Bath and Body Cherry Blossom. I got this recently for a gift so alright and then I'm going to use my tongue depressor and I'm going to stir it up. Oh, it smells so good. I love the cherry blossom. You can use any fragrance you want, though. And you just... You just keep mixing and keep spraying until you get it the consistency that you want it. And I want it kind of liquidy. So I'm going to show you how the consistency should be to make this rose. So, okay. I've got a, the consistency I want it. So you can see right here the consistency. Kind of runny. Kind of a runny consistency. Okay. I don't want to waste any. So now I've got a, just a paddle brush is what I call it that you use to put your makeup on. And what I've done then is, let me get everything out of the way. I and I've got everything on the foil here. Let me keep this in the frame. And I started like this and I just started putting this on my rose. And this is still not thin enough because you see how it's clumping like. And you can use a different color rose. I decided to use light. Now I'm using more of the e.l.f setting spray because I think it's better to have something on your um, rose that normally goes on your face anyway and that would be the setting spray okay I've got this just a little not thin enough and you want it kind of thin if you'll see how I've got it now and I just took and brushed it all over there we go now it's thin enough and it's going to make an ugly rose since I'm using a highlighter because highlighters, I don't know why they don't come out white, but they, they don't. But anyway, you just keep brushing it on. Keep brushing. Like this, till you get every petal with your... You get it covered in your liquid um, you get every petal covered with the liquid highlighter and this is how I done it this is how I done my rose blusher you can make highlighter and if you see that was plenty now if you make a bigger rose then you want to, let me get that up out of there, okay, you make a bigger rose, then you want to, and it's kind of messy on your hands, but you can wash all that off, and you just keep painting and keep painting until it's all gone, and then you set it aside and I use a hot glue gun and what I do is what I did and I'm not going to be able to um, to display that because and here's your rose and then you take your container and you just open your container 
And what I did with the other one is I took hot glue gun and I put a little dollop of glue in the inside, put it down in there after it dried. There's your rose. And to use it, I'm going to show you on the dry one. To use it, in which I've got this all over my hands, let me wipe my hands off. Then to use your rose, you just do swirl it around in it after it dries. Just like this. You see it on the brush. And you just put it on your face. And there you go. And that's how you make the rose. You can make your rose blusher, your rose highlighter, and the highlighter comes out very good. As you can see, it's wet now, but when it dries, it still comes out just as good. It looks pretty on, and that's how you do it. If you want a little extra scent, then just spray your rose. And what I did is I left the rose outside the container in this container and let it dry. When it dries, then take the hot glue gun and put it in your, in your rose container. Put the lid on and you've got your highlighter, your blush, whatever you want to make. So, there's how I did my highlighter, my blush rose, and hope you all will try it too. Send in love and hugs. It, don't forget, if you haven't already, share me around, hit that friend button down below, and come along with me on my ride, on my new journey that I'm taking. So, don't forget. Keep that glow, and I'll see you in the next one. Comment and give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.